present eternal one Where might I go to find you Exalted, hidden one Yet where would I not go to find you Ever present eternal
Shana Habaa Neshev al Hamir Pesed Venispur Tsiporim no Dadot Yelatim Bechusha Yesachakuto Feset Ben Habait Levain Hasadot O Tire, O Tire, Kamatovi Bashana, Bashana, Haba, Ho Tire, O Tire, Kamatovi, Bashana, Bashana, Haba. Hi, it's Rabbi Herber. I just wanted to wish you, your family, and all of your loved ones a Shana Tova Ugetuka, a very happy, a very sweet, and above all, a very, very healthy new year. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Wishing you a sweet, happy, healthy new year. 
from Adam, Marilyn, Brooke, and Lena. Shana Tova. For a happy and sweet new year for everyone. From Linda. And Jake Jacobs. Happy new year. Yasher Koak to those who help make this a beautiful and meaningful holiday season. Lashana Tova from Richard and Noreen Arnold. Stay, Stay well. well. Hi, I'm Nadine Strauss, Executive Director of Herzl Neratamid for the past three plus decades. And I'm so sorry I won't be greeting you personally in the parking lot, at the JCC, in the hallways. And I'm oddly nostalgic for all those conversations about whether it's too hot or too cold or the sound is just too loud or not loud enough. And as I walk up and down those stairs in the sanctuary, looking at those empty seats, I'm reminded of the many memories we all made there together and that we will be making again soon. From the Tobis family to the Mishpacha at Herzl Ner Tamid, Lashana Tova Umatuka, Happy New Year. Hi, it's Craig Weinstein. Just wanted to wish everyone a Shana Tova Umatuka. Happy, healthy, sweet New Year. Happy New Year to everyone at Herzl Ner Tamid from Theo and Gail Weiner. Shana Tova to our Herzl family. We miss you from the Looper family. Shana Tova from Ephraim and Linda Krischer. Shana Haba be Herzl Ner Tamid. Shana Haba. Shana Tova, love the claps. Hi everyone, it's Carrie Haas, and I just wanted to wish you and your families a happy, healthy, sweet, and hopefully less smoky New Year. Lashana Tova. Who would have thought we'd be sharing our holidays together through video? We really miss seeing all of our family and friends. So we wish you a happy and healthy new year from Audrey and Diane Shana Tova. Shana Tova. We are here and you are there, but we hope that after watching that wonderful montage of greetings that you feel connected to us, we feel connected to you, and you all feel connected with one another. Before we actually begin our service, I would like to express enormous thanks to a, a number of people Without their efforts, their dedication, their support, their hard work, we would not be here today. We'd like to thank, first and foremost, Audrey Kovner for the remarkable financial support that enabled us to pivot from a platform that would have been anything but ideal, Zoom, to this one-way platform on YouTube that you are now watching. And I think you'll all agree it is a vast, vast improvement on what we've been using thus far. And I'd also like to thank Audrey and her daughter, Michaela, Herb Weisbaum, who has been a director, producer extraordinaire. The three of them together pieced a an effort that is seamless in its result. What you will be watching tonight and tomorrow and the day after and on Yom Kippur is really a product of their hands. I'd also like to thank our president, Elise Wagner, for her leadership and all of her efforts, to Tara Reck, who chaired our High Holiday Task Force and her entire committee their efforts were also instrumental in enabling us to have our service streamlined and streamed to you tonight and in the days to come. Nadine Strauss and her remarkable, remarkable administrative team, Melanie, Ashley, Rebecca, Ariane, 
Elaine, and so many others who, behind the scenes, along with Glenn, enabled all of the work that had to be done for us to be here today to come to fruition. They are really, like those whose names I mentioned earlier, unsung heroes. And together, they participated in a Herculean effort, actually a Samson-like effort, to enable us to have what I hope you will all agree are inspiring services in anything but a normal set of circumstances. And of course, Cantor Curlin, who will inspire us with his beautiful voice, along with the voices and the efforts of everyone who participated in our services, leading important parts of our service, blowing shofar, chanting Torah, chanting Haftarot. All of these volunteers took time out of their busy schedules, came to the synagogue, and recorded themselves so that we could have a COVID-safe service for all. I just can't thank each and every one of them enough. And I hope that in the days to come, you will also express your gratitude to each and every one of them and express thanks for what they have provided for all of us. I'm speaking to people both near and far, folks here on Mercer Island, on the east side in Seattle, Sammamish, Kirkland, all over the Seattle area, and also globally, there are people who have signed on to watch our service, and we welcome each and every one of you. We hope this will be a new year filled with much happiness, and much health. We begin our service by reciting responsibly. We hope that you will respond at home as I lead us in a time for turning, which you will find in your Maxarim on page three. To everything there is a season, and there is an appointed time for every purpose. Now is the time for turning. The seasons change, as does the balance of day and night. The birds are beginning to turn and are heading once more toward the south. The animals are beginning to turn to storing their food for the winter. For the earth, for birds and animals, turning comes naturally. But for us, turning does not come so easily. It takes an act of will for us to make a turn. It means breaking with old habits. It means admitting that we have been wrong. And this is never easy. It means losing face. It means starting all over again. And this is always painful. It means saying, I am sorry. It means admitting that we have the ability to change. And this is always embarrassing. These things are terribly hard to do. But unless we turn, we will be trapped forever in yesterday's ways. Dear God, help us to turn from, from callousness, callousness to, to sensitivity, sensitivity, from hostility to love, from pettiness to purpose, from envy to contentment, from, from carelessness, carelessness to, to discipline, discipline, from fear to faith. Turn us around, O God, and bring us back toward you. Revive our lives as at the beginning. And turn us toward each other, God, for in isolation, for in isolation, there is no life. Because this Shabbat coincides with the Chag, with Rosh Hashanah, our Kabbalat Shabbat service is abbreviated. We turn to page four for Mizmor Shir Yom HaShabbat. Mizmor, Mizmor, Shir, Shir Liom HaShabbat Mizmor, Mizmor, Shir, 
Shir liom ha Shabbat, Tov lehodot ladonai, Ulzamer lishimcha elyon, Lehagid ba boker chastecha, Vemunatcha ba leilot, Ale asor vale navel, Ale higayon bechinor, Ki simachtani adonai befolecha, Bemaasei adecha aranein. Sadikatamar yifrach, Keres balvanon yiske shetulim, Bevet Adonai bechatzrot Eloheinu yafrichu, Oh, dinu vun beseva, de shenim verananim, iu le hagid, ki ashara donai tsuri, velo avla tabo. Adonai malach, geyut lavesh, lavesh Adonai ozitazar, avti kon tevel, baltimot. Mikolot maim rabim, Ma'im rabim, adirim, adirim, mishpereyam. Adir bamarom yalai lai, adir bamarom yalai lai, adir bamarom adonai. Edo techa nem nu meod, leve techa nava kodesh, Adonai le orech yamim. We turn to Mourner's Kaddish, page 26. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabba. Amen. V'yalma divra chirutei v'yamlich malchutei. Bechaye chon uvi ome chon uvachaye de chol beit Israel. Baagala uvi zman kariv vim ramein. Amen. Yehishme rabam rach le alam la me al maya. Vit barach, vit tabach, vit paar, vit ramam, vit nase. Vit tadar, vit tale, vit talal, shame de kudisha, rechu. La ela, la ela, mi kolbir chata veshirata. Tushbechata venechemata. Da Amiran Bialma Vimru Amen. Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shemaya. Vichayim Alenu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. Amen. O se shalom bim Romav. Hu ya a se shalom. Alenu Vial Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. Amen. Please rise for the Barhu, page five. Baruchu et Adonai Hamevorach Baruch Adonai Hamevorach Leolam vaed Baruch Adonai HaMevorach Le'olam Va'ed Please be seated. Oh. 
Umavdil ben yom uvein laila Adonai tzivaot shemo El chai vekayam Tamid yimloch aleinu leolam vaed Baruch ata Adonai Baruch shemo Hamari varavim Amen we continue on the top of page six. Kihem chayenu veorech yamenu uvahem nege yomam valayla veahavatecha Al tasir mi menu le olamim, baruch atadonai. Shemo. Ham oheva mo Yisrael. Amen. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Me avta et Adonai Elohecha, Behol of Avachal, Behol Nafshecha, Uvhol Meodecha, Behayu Hadivarim Haele, Asher Anochim Tzavecha, Hayom Al Levavecha, Mishinantam Levanecha, Vidibarta Bam, Meshivtecha beveitecha, uvelechtecha vaderech, uvishochbecha uvkumecha, uksartam leot al yadecha, vehayuletotafot beinecha, uchtavtam al mezuzot beitecha, uvish arecha. Malchuto <laughs> Yamruchulam, mi chamocha baeli madonai, mi chamocha ne darba kodesh, nora tehilot osefele, malchutecha. Ra'uvanecha Bukei ayam lifnei Moshe Zeli anu v'yamru Adonai imloch le'olam va'ed M'nemar Kifad Adonai et Yaakov 
ungalo mi ad khazak mi menu baruch atadunai gal israel and we continue with hashkivenu on the top of page 9 hashkivenu adunai lohen le shalom va mi denu malkenu khayim frosalenu sukat shalom mecha betanganenu ezo Ufrosalenu sukat shilomecha baruchat Adonai hapores sukat shalom aleinu v'al kol amo Yisrael v'al Yerushalayim. We rise for the Shamru and for Tiku Chodesh Shofar and Chatzik Kadesh, which will follow on page 10. The Shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la'asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorot am-berit olam. Vishamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la'asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorot am-berit olam. Beni uven b'nei Yisrael oti le'olam oti le'olam v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat la'asot et ha-Shabbat le'dorot am-berit olam ki sheshet yamim ki sheshet yamim Asa Adonai, et ha-shamayim v'et ha-aretz, v'shamru v'nei Yisrael, et ha-shabat, la-asot et ha-shabat, le-dorot am-berit olam. U'vayom ha-shvi, shabat v'ayinafash, shabat v'ayinafash, Shavat v'ayinafash v'shamru v'nei Yisrael et ha-Shabbat l'asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorot am-berit olam. Tikeu v'chodesh shofar b'kesel yom chagenu ki chok l'Yisrael hu mishpad l'elohe Yaakov. It gadal, it kadash, shmei rabban, bialma divra kirute, viamlich malchute, mechayechon, uviomechon. Uvchayei dechol beit Yisrael Bagala Uvizman kariv Vimru amen Amen Yehishmei rabba mevarach Le'alam ulalmei almaya Yitparach, yitparach, mishtabach, mitpar vitroma mitnasei, vitadar vitale, vitalal, shmei dekudsha, brichu. 
Le'ela, Le'ela, Mikol birchata veshirata, Tush vechata venechemata, Damiran bialma vimru amen. We now continue silently with the Amidah, which begins on page 11. May the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us and the world will say amen. amen. May the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us and the world will say amen. 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 Descend on us and the world will say amen. May the one who makes peace in the heavens descend on us and the world will say amen. O se shalom bim romav, o ya se shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yoshve Tevel, Amen, Amen. Uya se shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve al kol Yoshve Tevel. We continue with Vayichulu, page 18. Vayichulu ha-shamayim ve-ha-aretz ve-chol tzivam 
ויכל אלוהים ביום השביעי מלאכתו אשר עשה וישפוט ביום השביעי מכל מלאכתו אשר עשה ויברך אלוהים את יום השביעי ויקדש אותו כי בו שבת מכל מלאכתו אשר ברא אלוהים לעשות ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו אלוהי אברהם אלוהי יצחק ואלוהי יעקב אלוהי שרה אלוהי רבקה אלוהי רחל ואלוהי לאה האל הגדול הגיבור והנורא אל עליון קונה שמיים וארץ מגן אבות בדברו, מחיה מתים במאמרו, המלך הקדוש שאין כמוהו, המניח לעמו, מיום שבת קודשו, כיוון רצה להניח להם כי ואם רצה להניח להם, לפניו נעבוד ביראו הפחד, ונודה לשמו בכל יום תמיד, מעון הברכות אל ההודעות, אדון השלום. מקדש השבת ומברך שביעי ומניח בקדושה ליעמדו שני עונג זכר למעשה למעשה וראשית אלוהינו ואלוהי אבותינו רצה ומנוחתנו קדשנו במצוותיך ותן חלקנו בתורתך סבינו מטובך ושמחנו בשועתך וטהר ליבנו וטהר ליבנו לעובדך באמת וטהר ליבנו וטהר ליבנו לעובדך באמת והנחילנו אדוני אלוהינו באהבה וברצון שבת קודשך, וינוחו בה ישראל מקדשי שמך. ברוך אתה אדוני מקדש השבת. אמן. We continue with Kadesh Shalem, page 19. יתקרל ויתקדש. שמי רבה, ביומא דברה, קירותי וים לך מלכות ובחיי חונו וימי חונו וחי לכל בישראל, בעגלה ובזמן קריב, ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מברך לעלם ולעל מאומאי יתברך. יתברך וישתבח ויתפאר ויתרומם ויתנשא. ואת הדר ואת הלב ואת הלל שמי דקודשה. בריכו לאלה לאלה מכל ברכתה ושירתה, תושבחתה ונחמתה, דמי רן בעלמא ואמרו אמן. תתקבל צלות ההון ובוטון דכל ישראל קדם אבון דמשמיא ואמרו אמן. יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיא וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומיו, הוא יעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. אמן.
Please be seated. Shabbat Shalom, Shana Tova. Shana Tova. I actually can't believe I'm going to say this, but do you know what I really miss right now? I miss something, someone coming up to me, probably Elise Wagner, whispering in my ear, Rabbi, one half of the room is complaining that it's too cold in here, and the other half is complaining that it's too hot. Sort of a high holiday ritual that uh, I experience each and every year, and this year I'm not. But uh, let's hope, God willing, that if we all wear our masks, we all act responsibly. And that there is a vaccine on the horizon that next year we'll all be in here together and I will hear that refrain once again. I, I never should have said what I said, but once I did, it was too late to take it back. My words, like words do, they took on a life of their own. And even to this day, even after I've already apologized, they still haunt me. This evening, I'm going to share a story with you. It's a true story. But I'm going to leave out some details in order to avoid making the same mistake that I made earlier. Some things are best left unsaid. Now, you might think this is a trivial story. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in our lives. For me, however, it was a humbling moment of realization when I came to understand how easily we can he hurt others and how hard it is to say, I'm sorry. It all began with an innocent conversation between two colleagues. I had just finished leading and presenting at a peer roundtable at the Shalom Hartman Institute's rabbinic Torah seminar in Jerusalem. My session was entitled, Does the Synagogue Have a Future? After the session was over, one colleague approached me to discover further a point I had made during my presentation. We ended up talking about the challenges of the Congregational Rabbinate, and I shared how I was surprised that a former congregant in Philadelphia had decided to join his congregation. He and I were friends, and we often teased each other. I made what we would call a snarky comment about his synagogue, which was done totally in jest. We did this all the time, and this moment seemed no different. Or at least I thought it did. But my friend didn't understand the spirit in which I had said them. My words, they cut just a little too deeply. We often forget how destructive our words can be. On Yom Kippur, more than a third of the confessions that we make in the Vidui prayer deal with the abuse and misuse of language. But ritualized confession isn't enough. The Shulchan Aruch tells us that Yom Kippur cannot atone for the sins between a person and his or her neighbor unless the guilty party seeks forgiveness first from that neighbor. It then goes on to say, a person must apologize even if he only teased someone verbally. Of course, we all do this. Teasing is something we do to show that we care about someone. And this seems to be particularly true among men. It's easier for us to show affection by calling someone a funny name than it is to express how much we really care about that person. 
But the boundary between gentle teasing and harsh insult is often hard to identify. Without realizing it, we step over the line of propriety and feelings are hurt. What began as fun can sometimes sting and hurt. So I said something I shouldn't have, plain and simple. And even though we had an understanding that what was said between colleagues shouldn't be repeated, my friend went ahead and told one of the leaders of his congregation what I'd said. She immediately went to my former congregant, someone of whom I was quite fond, and told her what I said. Well, you can imagine the rest of the story. The time I thought of the parable of the woman who came to her rabbi and told him that she wished to repent for her former sins. She had been a gossiper all her life, and now she wished to make amends for her actions. The rabbi suggested that the woman take a feather pillow, go up to the roof of her home, and tear it open. She thought that was a little strange, but the woman did exactly what she was told. No sooner had she torn open the lining of the pillow that a gust of wind came along and blew the feathers in every direction. The woman returned to a rabbi. Well, rabbi, I did exactly as you told me. Now what should I do? Now I want you to go and collect all the feathers and put them back in the pillow. The woman blanched. But, but Rabbi, how could I possibly collect all the feathers? They blew everywhere in every direction. That's true, said the rabbi. And that's how it is with words as well. Once spoken, words are carried away on the wind. There's no way to retrieve them. You can't take back what you've already said. You can only try harder in the future. So there you have it. When I realized what had happened and how a confidence had been shared with others, I have to tell you, I was really upset. I was upset at my colleague for repeating my words rather than telling me why he was upset. And I was upset with the president of his congregation who had taken advantage of this opportunity to hurt my relationship with a former congregant. But most of all, I was upset with myself. I was upset for being so foolish, for sharing how I felt inside. It took a few sleepless nights for me to figure out what to do. Slowly, my anger gave way to the realization that the only person for whom I was responsible in this situation was me. Others may have acted inappropriately, but that did not make what I did any less wrong or harmful. I could change only what I had done. Lashon Hara is never justified, especially when we use language as a weapon to put someone else down. I knew that I was wrong, and I knew that I had to apologize, which is something that is never easy to do. In the last year, there have literally been hundreds of public apologies. Apologies made by TV and movie celebrities, politicians, and countless professional athletes. From NBA star John Morant apologizing for his tweet about police, to actor Hill Harper apologizing for his comment about Dwayne Wade's transgender child, to Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney apologizing for dining indoors at a restaurant in Maryland while restaurants in Philadelphia remain closed to inside dining. The thing about most apologies these days is that they're more like non-apologies. More often than not, people preface 
public apologies with the statement, if I've offended anyone, or simply a denial that this is really the way they think or not, or how they act. In other words, they're saying, I may have done this or said that, but I don't really think or approve of that behavior. It's like the old Flip Wilson bit, you know, for those of us who are old enough, the one where he says, the devil made me do it. The prize for the best apology, however, in recent memory, has to go to Rush Limbaugh, who after questioning whether Michael J. Fox suffered from Parkinson's disease, stated in a non-apology, I will bigly, hugely admit that I was wrong, and I will apologize to Michael J. Fox if I am wrong in characterizing his behavior on this commercial as an act. Notice that one word completely negates his apology. The word is if. If I am wrong. Finally, I sat down and wrote a letter of apology. I have to admit that it was one of the hardest things that I've ever done. And I wish I'd saved the seven or eight different versions of the letter I wrote before I finally came up with just the right words. At first, I wrote a letter apologizing, but not before I stated my own grievance and my own hurt. But I quickly realized that it wasn't an apology. It was a statement of why I was angry. Then I wrote the letter again, this time stating that I really hadn't meant to hurt anyone and that my words were merely said in jest. Again, I realized that this was not an apology, but an excuse. Little by little, I whittled that letter down from two pages to one page, to about three quarters of a page. And in the end, I follow the advice of my intellectual and theological hero, Rambam, Maimonides. I made my apology personal, direct, and unconditional. In Hilchot Tshuva, Rambam's discussion of repentance, he offers us a template for how to apologize to other people. There must be several elements in a sincere statement of apology. First, one has to honestly acknowledge that one what one has done. There can be no attempts to explain or justify why one acted this way or that. One must say, this is what I did and I'm truly sorry I acted in this fashion. They can't just be words. They have to be honest and heartfelt. Then one must promise not to do whatever it was one had done ever again. And finally, one has to offer reparations if that's at all possible. In other words, approaching someone with a generic apology, I'm sorry if I offended you in the past year, is really not an apology according to Maimonides. A person has to be able to acknowledge the specific act which he or she has committed. The problem is that most of us even aren't even, aren't even aware that we've offended anyone. We've either overlooked the offense or we've put it out of our mind altogether. When we speak about cheshbon ha-nefesh then, about giving an accounting of our lives, we are dead serious. We're supposed to rack our brain and try to remember those offenses, the ones that we've committed in the months that have already passed. There is no such thing as a generic apology. I suspect we have all sorts of reasons to apologize for something we've done in the past year. These acts weigh us down and trouble us, whether we think about them during the day or they have kept us up at night. We have regrets that we have never shared with anybody else. We've been untrue and unfaithful to people, 
the ones that we're supposed to care about. We've been harsh and callous when we should have been attentive and attuned. Or we might have inadvertently hurt others without ever having intended to do so. In ancient Israel, the Jewish people were required to bring two types of sacrifices for the infractions that they committed. One is called an asham, a guilt offering, and the other is called a chatat, a sin offering. One that is given for acts inadvertently committed. Just because we didn't mean to hurt someone doesn't mean our actions are any less destructive or hurtful. Finally, I mailed that letter and things returned more or less to their previous order. Of course, nothing was ever quite the same between all of us. It's not easy to get over hurt. But I felt that my letter had cleared the air and at least it comforted my conscience. It also made me a little more humble. In retrospect, I have to say that there's at least one thing I should have done differently. Looking back, I suspect that the easy way out was writing that letter rather than calling the parties involved and speaking to them on the phone or talking to them in person. Nothing is more powerful than someone who is willing to face up to his or her wrongs and acknowledge them face to face. In the end, I guess maybe I was a little too embarrassed and I found it easier to carefully compose my words rather than to just come out and say them. By the way, just as we're obligated to ask for forgiveness, we also have to be prepared to forgive others when they've hurt us. The Shulchan Aruch states, an injured party should not be cruel and deny forgiveness, for this is not the way of the Jewish people. Once the person who commits the injury apologizes once or twice, and it is known that he has turned away from her sinful ways and regrets his evil, she should be forgiven. One, is quick to forget, one who is quick to forgive is praiseworthy. The spirit of the sages rests upon her. Not only that, but we should be willing to forgive ourselves. Too often we're often our harshest judges, unwilling to forgive our wrong deeds and constantly replaying the incident over and over again in our minds. Regrets and self-loathing weigh us down and haunt us. By now you're probably wondering, why is Rabbi Herber talking about forgiveness on Erev Rosh Hashanah, rather than talking about this next week on Yom Kippur. Isn't Yom Kippur a more appropriate time to discuss asking for forgiveness and apologizing? Talking about apologizing on Yom Kippur is really too late. The time to think about the apologies we owe others is right now at the beginning of the Aseret Yimei Tshuva, the 10 days of repentance. On Yom Kippur, we ask the Holy One to grant us atonement for the wrongs we've committed against God. But that assumes that we've made peace with all the people in our lives. The next several days are the time to think about that, to make peace with others, and to make peace with ourselves. Is there someone to whom you owe an apology? There is nothing sadder than lifelong friends who part ways over petty differences. Brothers and sisters who hold grudges over long forgotten disputes. We all know stories like this. I have attended too many funerals where the members of one family could not sit Shiva with the members of the rest of their family, and weddings where loved ones have been left 
out. We are quick to judge others, but we don't always stop to think about the ways in which we've wounded others ourselves. I'm not suggesting that you haven't been hurt by someone else. What I am suggesting is that our focus not be on what others did to us, but what we may have done to others. That is the only thing over which we have control and for which we are responsible. Make peace with the people in your life so that you can make peace with yourself. We can't change how they feel or what they did, but we can honestly look at what we did and try to fix the mistakes that we've made. So this week, why not pick up the phone and call someone you've hurt? There is no such thing as a life without regrets. But regrets can become either burdens that interfere with our present happiness and restrict our future, or a motivation to move forward. If you find yourself overcome by regret, do something about it. That is really what the Aseret Yemei Tshuva are all about. Rosh Hashanah is a beginning. It's an opportunity and a gift. Why not take advantage of it? Words can hurt, but they can also heal. An apology is a chance to make right that which has gone wrong in our lives. Of course, it takes a lot more than words to apologize. But wow, it sure is a great beginning. I want to wish all of you a Shana Tova. I want to wish you a year of sweetness. I want to wish you a year without regret. I want to wish you a year of peace, a peace within yourself and a peace with others. I want to wish you a year that is filled with so much good health and wellness. Shana Tova. Please rise for Kiddush. Page 19. I apologize. I will owe you all an extra al khait for this. Page 24. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri Amen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikolam, Verom Manu Mikolashon, Vikidishanu mitzvotav. Vatihiten lanu adonai eloheinu biyahava. Et yom hashabbat hazeh. Viet yom hazikaron hazeh. Yom zikron teruah. Biyahava mikra kodesh. Zechel tziyat mitzrayim Kivanu vacharta Veotanu kidashta Mikol ha'amim Udvarcha emet vikayam la'ad Baruch atadunai Melech al kol ha'aretz mikadesh ha'shabad v'Yisrael V'yom hazikaron Baruch atadunai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Shehechianu v'kiyamanu 
Delicious. We continue with Alenu, page twenty five. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'atet k'dula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot Velo samanu k'mishpechot ha'adama Shelo sam chelkeinu kahem Vegor aleinu k'chol ha'monam V'anachnu k'orim U'mishtachavim u'modim Lifne melech malche hamlachim hakadosh baruchu shehu no teshamayim v'yoser aretz u'moshav yikaro b'shamayim mimal u'shchin atuzo u'shchin atuzo begov hemeromim hu eloheinu einod. Emet malkeinu ebezulato, kakatuv betorato, v'yadata hayom, v'yadata hayom, v'hashevota elevavecha, ki Adonai hu ha'elohim, v'ashamayim mimal, v'yal ha'aretz, v'yal ha'aretz, Mitachat Einod Einod V'takeinu olam Malchut Shaddai v'chol v'nei v'asar Yigur Yishmech al-Afdol Dei Rai 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 Kakatul v'toratecha Adonai imloch le'olam v'ed V'ne'emar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol ha'aretz B'yom ha'hu, b'yom ha'hu, hiye Adonai echad U'shemo, u'shemo, u'shemo echad we turn to the psalm for the season of repentance, Psalm 27, on page 27. Achat sha'alti meit Adonai ota avakesh Shivti beveit Adonai kol yemei chayai Lachzot benoam benoam Adonai ulvaker veheichalo Kitz b'neini besuko v'yom ra'am Shiv ulva zamra l'adonai shma Adonai kol yemei Mourner's Kaddish, page 26. Itkadal v'itkadash shemei rabat. Amen. V'yalma divrach yurutei v'yamlich malchutei. V'chayechon uviyom echon v'chaydechol beit Yisrael v'agala uvizman kariv v'imru amen. Amen. Yehi shmei rabba mevarach le'olam al-almei al-maya. Yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitramam v'yitnaseh v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shmei dikudisha v'yichu l'eila l'eila v'yikol b'yichata v'shirata tush b'chata v'nechemata Da amiran bi alma vi imru amen. Amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya ve chayim alenu vi al kol Yisrael vi imru amen. Amen. O se shalom bi meromav hu ya ase shalom alenu vi al kol Yisrael vi imru amen. Amen. Just a reminder that tomorrow morning services begin at 9 a.m. The Torah service will begin approximately, also the sermon, uh, approximately at some time around 10, 15 a.m. Our family service 
That's a service for gone grades K and under at 10 a.m. And our youth services will begin at 10.30 a.m. We continue with the Igdal, which will be sung to the high holy day melody. You'll find it on page 28. Igdal Elohim Chai V'yishtabach Nimtza V'yeinet El Metziuto Echad V'yein Yachid Keyichudo Melan vegam itzof leachduto, ein lo demutagu v'ein o guf, lo naruch elav kedushato, kan mon lechol davar asher nivra, Rishon vien reshit le reshito. Ino adon olam vechol no tsar. Yoreg edulato umalchuto. Shefa nevuato netano. El anshe segulato vetifarto Lo kam v'Yisrael kemoshe od Navi umabit et temunato Torat emet natan leamoel Al yad nevio neman beito Lo ya khalifa el ve lo ya mirdato le olamim le zulato tsofevio deya setarenu ma bid le softavar me kadmato Gomel ish chesed ke mi falo, no ten le rashara ke rishato, ish lach le ketz yamin me shichenu, liftot me chake ketz. Yeshuato, metim yechayel berov chasto, baruch adai ad shem tilato, metim yechayel berov chasto, baruch adai ad shem tilato. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. because I forgot to put it in. Yeah.